Fun. Fun. Social. Excitement. Exhilarating. Terrific. A lot of fun. Great. Great. It makes me feel proud. Awesome. 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 It's the best thing you can do. It's a great family sport and uh, everyone has a great time. In the early 1960s, backyard builders in America, with a few feet of steel tube, lawnmower engine, some wheels, and a sense of humour, built carts for local use. From these basic origins, the sport of karting took off around the world, including here in Australia. In car clubs, factories, and elsewhere, groups formed to buy carts. The first kart races were run on improvised tracks, car parks, aerodromes and sections of car racing venues, with the first purpose-built track in Britain, at Tilbury on the Thames. Italian designer craftsmen from the reputable automobile factories turned their collective hands to karting and it gave the sport a boost in Europe and soon their lightweight construction techniques became unsurpassed anywhere in the world. In Australia we also had our own kart builders. Clipper Products manufactured the Hot Rod. Ashford's at Hurstville built the Easy Go Kart. The Lawrence Brothers created the Alvin. It was a long way from Europe to Australia and as the years rolled by, it became painfully obvious that our small manufacturers faced an uphill battle to take on the might of the Europeans. Over the years, Drew Price Engineering has become Australia's leading manufacturer of carts through initially the Ace and Demon brands and now the Arrow and Monaco makes. While there are now a number of Australian manufacturers, even today it is Europe that is classed as the spiritual home of karting and its manufacturers. I've always loved motor racing, couldn't afford to race cars, and here was something that handled the nearest you'll get to a single seater, and it's a participant funded sport. It's not, it's not cheap, but at least you can afford it uh, as an individual. You don't need sponsorship, and you can go and race, you can have fun, it's fantastic. While it's commonly referred to as simply a stepping stone to other forms of motorsport, karting is a discipline in its own right. It's a sport that can be enjoyed at many levels, whether you're an aspiring racer, what a sport that you and your family can enjoy, or looking to get your adrenaline rush in a safe and controlled environment. It can cater for all your desires. If you want to start off in karting, it's the cheapest way to get into motorsport. It's fun. I love doing it as a family and everything. Oh, lots of camaraderie, a bit of, bit of exercise and um, great family day out. It has to be the camaraderie between everyone and everyone's willing to help each other out. And whenever you're in trouble, you just get yeah, anyone's there to jump in and lend you a hand. One of the best things I got out of it was the, the relationship you had with your, your mechanic, your uncle or your, your dad. Real family sport um, and that's what I'm trying to do now. Definitely you get a really good bond with people, like you have a good friendship bond, like it sort of carries on through your whole life. Keeps you sharp, keeps you focused and um, you know, all in all it's, it's great social activity for the kids and, and, and uh, you know, all the seniors as well. Some of the best years of my life were taking my son racing. Right? It, it sort of bridges the generation gap like no other sport I know, where you're a team with your children and you, know, you, you treat each other like equals. And it's fantastic. It, it, it's great going away karting with a family. Fantastic. In Australia, drivers can start racing at the age of seven, both boys and girls. While the lessons learned on the racetrack, such as car control and driving techniques, are important ones, it's the valuable life lessons they learn off the track that are just as vital. These kids have got a really good base to start from. You know, they know the fundamentals of driving and what they've got to look for, you know, looking ahead, looking around them, because they've done karting for so many years. So you know, I think that gives it a good base. It gives you the opportunity to drive fast, right? To test your limits in a vehicle on a racetrack where you're not endangering others, where you're, you've got a safe environment for it. It teaches you how to drive properly and also you can take that experience to the road so you don't become a hoon. It gives these kids good, um, good life skills, good driving skills even before they get their licence. The sport of karting is not just for the young either, it's also one for the young at heart. Uh, as I get older I always trick myself into thinking that I haven't peaked yet and I'm going to get better but it's become an addiction for me and I, I just can't stop, I'm just 
I love the fact that going to any race meeting, um, you know, trying to do well, every little result you get just keeps you going and it just becomes an addiction. I'm getting a bit old and cranky, but I can't let it go because I just love the sport and I love the people in it. It's fantastic fun. Karting is one of the few sports where the girls can take on the boys on an even playing field. While beating the boys isn't the sole focus for the female races, it does add an extra incentive in what many believe is a male-dominated sport. They are very competitive, like they definitely don't like being beaten by a girl, but once you kind of earn their respect out there, you kind of, they just treat you like one of the boys. Well, my dad's always raced, so as soon as I turned seven, he got me involved and I've raced all my life and I couldn't imagine my life without. It's a huge part and I love it. It's a great bonding thing with me and dad because it's being a girl, it's kind of hard to spend quality time with your dad over something that you both like and so it's a great thing to, for us to bond and strengthen our relationship over. Really now just getting more enjoyment looking after my daughter and, and uh, friends and, and teammates uh, than racing myself. We've met a lot of people, we've got friends every state in Australia, you know we wouldn't have it any other way. It's a great thing for any family to be in and it's good for the younger generation. better family basis for us because wife, kids all come out and have a bit of fun. It's actually brought us closer as a family so it's a very family orientated sport. It gives parents or fathers more time with their children at the track and more one-on-one -on -one, like uh, it brings parents and kids closer together I believe. Well it did for us. Yeah well I'm uh, 24 years old now and um, I don't know many other 24 year olds who still hang around with the old man doing, doing their sport. It's kept our relationship tight and, and I like it. The sport of Cardi has kept us together really well. We've um, travelled the whole countryside and um, as a father son sport I don't think there's anything better than go Cardi. You're always involved doing things together so I mean my wife's in, heavily involved with what we do. She looks after you know what the kids do during the day, the entries, the fuel, all that type of stuff. Uh, you know and we're always doing something together, we're never apart family that plays together stays together sort of thing so. Great friends like we'll have these friends that I make now forever. Each state I've got a good mate and um, you know it's, it's become more of like a family thing now you have mates everywhere and uh, you don't just go away for the race and you go away to see all your buddies and uh, you have a good time. To be involved in karting you don't have to be a racer either. People from all walks of life can enjoy the thrill of the sport firsthand while gaining some great friendships just by getting involved as karting officials. The camaraderie between the officials and the, the, the competitors, um, they become a second family to you. The respect I receive from the drivers and the other officials and all the pit crew and the parents, it's, uh, it's why I come to these events. The camaraderie and, and the family uh, orientated things that I haven't seen in any other sport. With 92 clubs affiliated with the Australian Karting Association across the country and dozens of retail kart outlets throughout the nation, there's one near you. Get involved today and start your karting career. Karting to me is exactly the same as what um, the great Anton Senna said. It's the, it's the truest form of motorsport. Benefits, I mean, are, are massive. They're not only, you know, just learning, I guess, a discipline, you know, putting your mind to it and working towards one particular goal, which is obviously in go-kart is winning and in any sport is winning. Um, you know, not that winning means everything, but, you know, striving for something like that is certainly good for, for the young kids to learn. Most of it is the 
is really the speed it goes and the lines you take and how fun it is. It's just an absolute buzz. Uh, it's an adrenaline hit and uh, everyone should be into it. You know, if you want to be a, have a career and be a star, you have to do karting. And I think that proves if you look at the grid on Formula 1 Viet Supercar, the guys that done karting at the top level normally stay at the top in the sport they go to. I'm just happy being at karting. I love the smell of it. <laughs> For anyone that wants to get into motorsport, I always say, you know, start off in karting first and then progress from there. Come and enjoy it, have a lot of fun, get that competitive streak out of you and at the end of the day hopefully walk home with a trophy. For further information and regular news updates, visit karting.net.au.